Having dealt with muscular dystrophy nearly his entire life, Brent Yetter decided to make a career of it, going to work in a lab dedicated to fighting these types of diseases. It's personally fulfilling and you know, to know that you know, every day you're coming in and helping a lot of kids out there and adults that, you know, going through the same things you are. Brent has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the most common and severe form of the disease. And while he works at this lab at Columbus Children's Hospital, fewer than five miles away, researchers in another lab may have isolated a protein causing some of Brent's problems. Dennis Gutridge of Ohio State University Medical Center says the protein, called NF-kappa-B, has been known to cause inflammation in the muscles, but it may be doing much more than that. What we think is happening is that NF-kappa-B, when it's active, is actually putting the brakes on muscle so that it cannot regenerate. Normally, any time they're used, some muscle cells die, but they quickly regenerate or rebuild themselves to become stronger. But in patients like Brent, that doesn't happen, and it appears this protein is partially to blame, which led Gutridge to ask the question, If our protein is not there, do we see a difference in the disease pathology? And the answer to that was yes. In other words, if NF-kappa B is altered or removed altogether, the muscle may be able to repair itself. That's the idea behind the next set of experiments that will hopefully lead to new drugs to help people like Brent. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.